Make Believers. In today's video, I am doing my books to munch this month of July. How was it July? Oh. This month, I am putting four books on my list because I am getting there, guys. I am getting to the level of reading four books a month. It is very exciting, and I'm very excited. So this month, I have chosen four delicious books to read. One of these books is actually a book that I had on my books to munch last month, but I chose not to read it, and that was The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Now, that is not anything against this beautiful book that I cannot wait to read, but it was because I realized in June that all the books I'd chosen except one were all time travel and or world hopping sort of books, and I thought, okay, I've already read two like this this month, maybe I want to read something different. So The Last Magician is also a time travel book, modern day New York and the past New York and there's magical people and it sounds fantastic and I cannot wait to read it but I just thought I didn't want to do another one in the same vein as the books I was reading last month so I decided to postpone it to this month and I read something else instead which I will be telling you about in my reading wrap up. The next book that I'll be reading is a short and sweet book, sort of like A Court of Frost and Starlight, the novella, which I read as my fourth book last month. This book is another short and sweet one, and it is called The Alchemist. I have heard so much about this book. It is the story of a shepherd, I believe his name is Santiago? Yes. He's a guy called Santiago, and he goes on a journey to find riches, and basically he discovers himself and he discovers his dreams. It sounds really sweet. Apparently it transforms lives. I've seen Will Smith talk about it. I've seen Tony Robbins talk about it. I've seen lots of people talk about it. Plus, my friend highly recommended it, so she lent it to me. And it's a certain sweet book, so I should definitely be able to get through it this month. The third book that I will be devouring this month of July is one that I've had on my shelf for I think at least two years, but actually I think I'm probably coming up close to three years now, and that is Nevernight. That is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, and it is my first Jay Kristoff book. It sounds amazing, and I am so excited to finally have found the time to put it on my list of books to read. And it says, if you love Robin Hobb or George R.R. R. Martin, you will adore Nevernight. So I'm looking really forward into getting to this, and on the front it says, never flinch, never fear, never forget. And I've heard that it is a new adult to adult fantasy read. From the blurb, I gather that it's about a girl called Mir Kaver, and she is 10 years old when someone comes and kills her family or something, I'm guessing because it says she gets a lesson in death, and you know, people have come and shattered her world, and they take her away to train amongst assassins in the Red Church of Itrea, which sounds really cool, and yes, it sounds like she's an assassin, and she has a special gift and is like, destined to do this and to wreak havoc on the world and it says inside the church's halls Mia must prove herself against the deadliest of opponents and survive the tutelage of murderers, liars and demons at the heart of a murder cult. The church is no ordinary school but Mia is no ordinary student. And when looking through books to read I actually started reading the first page of this and I'm already so excited so I actually might begin with this book but let's see how I go. And the fourth and final book that I will be reading this month I don't actually have yet but I'm going to get either this weekend or next weekend because it is available in my bookstore. I just need to go to the bookstore. And that is War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. At last, the fourth, I don't believe it's the final. I don't know, is it the final? I don't think it's the final. But the fourth book in the Red Queen series and I cannot wait to get to it. I do need to read through the last few pages of King's Cage because I don't fully remember how it ended but I'm going to refresh my memory and that will be the fourth book that I read this month of July. So I am super excited about the books that I'm going to munch this month. All of them sound fantastic, all of them sound fabulous, and I cannot wait to dive into Jay Kristoff for the first time. What books are you reading this month? Do you have a TBR or do you just pick and choose? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye!